Welcome back. Um, we're talking about some useful operations before. Um, now I'm going to talk about the idempotent rule. So the idempotent rule, uh, which I've already been talking about when I listed all the useful operations, but I'm going to talk um, about this uh, a little bit better now because, you know, um, it deserves its own space. Um, so the idempotent rules are actually two, and they are uh, a plus a equal a, and a times a equal a. So what they say is that if you have um, basically an input, which is a, and it's going to go through both your entries of your um, of your or gate um, then what's gonna happen well we have a we have this or gate but well the output is always gonna be a uh, why well uh, because you would have a um, so if a is zero then you're gonna have zero zero the output is zero if you have one we're going to have one one the output is one so as you can see a the output is a um, and this, and the same is valid for the end gate here so if you have a as an input in the two input of your um, end gate are tied together because it's just really one input a so here you have your end gate and uh, then the output in this case as well is going to be a because you know if a is uh, zero then you're going to have zero zero the output is zero if you have a as one you're going to have one one the output is one so this is pretty easy this is just the item potent rule it means that uh, uh, you know the input is just going to be the output because you know if you have two inputs which are the same, it's exactly the same, doesn't matter whether you apply an OR gate or an AND gate, the output is always going to be uh, the same as the input. So yeah, in a nutshell, this is the idempotent rule.